We are almost there. The 500th anniversary of the Reformation. We have celebrated with studies, Oktoberfest, give 20 events, artwork, and more. Next week, everyone will receive a white rose following a custom observed in Erfurt, Germany, where Martin Luther lived for 10 years, attended university, and was ordained a monk. There in Erfurt, over the town square, stand two massive churches with a grand set of stairs between them. On the left, the cathedral church where Luther was ordained. On the right, St. Severus Church. I visited this spot years ago, and when I returned home and shared my photos, a dear friend who had immigrated to the U.S. from Germany recalled fondly how she and the other children of Erfurt celebrated Reformation Day. They filled those steps between the churches from side to side, top to bottom, each holding a white rose, singing and praying together. Next Sunday, we will emulate that custom. Everyone at worship will receive a white rose. Our Sunday school children at one point will fill our stairs from top to bottom and side to side, honoring Lutherans from every time and place who have shown the courage to share the good news of God's grace. The White Rose reminds us of one of the most recognized and important Lutheran symbols, the Luther Seal. We have seen it etched into stone, carved into wood, made into jewelry, stained glass windows, and even tattoos. Describing the theology of this image, Luther wrote, a black cross and a heart reminds us that faith in the crucified saves. A white rose to show that faith gives joy, comfort, and peace. A sky blue field symbolizing that such joy in spirit is a beginning of the heavenly joy. And a golden ring symbolizing heaven. Blessedness beyond all joy and goods. I am from a Lutheran family, which, like many others, stretches back to the Reformation. They saw a clearness and understanding of the Lutheran Church that has held steady through 500 years. We are rooted in this. I don't have to wonder what my parents would advise in situations because we have all come from that same solid framework of a real savior, holding steady, never wavering. I am Pat McCormick. That is why I am a Lutheran.